we are very busy every day, every year. We catching and relocating snakes from areas where there are human wildlife conflicts. Before we are to release species in various areas, we inform the forestry department, wildlife section, of the release and uh, sometimes we get their advice on where they, what they think or where they think we should release the animal also. So we are always working with the guidelines of the forestry department. This year we have a, a much larger specimen of the one that was released on that day in Matura area. This is already a, an adult, probably about four and a half feet in length. This was a rescued animal and it will also be released in the near, very near future. These animals are very important. They're just as important as a butterfly or an elephant or a lion or a tiger to the environment that they live in. They're just as important. They all play a very vital role in that little ecology or the environment or the country that they may be found in. Right? So we need to understand that they are important and we need to put measures in place so that we can coexist and we could also have them removed to a different location if it is that one strays into our property or our surroundings or, or any, any property like that. So we just can't say, okay, snake, we're afraid and we kill it. We can't do that, right? It's not right to do because it means that if we, are, if we just eradicate species like this, think about the food chain, think about what they control and it's natural biological control. They all have a purpose. Check one, come back. Check one, two. TBS is a Toyota Hilux 2004 model. It has a 3 liter diesel engine in it. 33 inch tires. Front wind has a rear winch as high lift jack. A recovery kit and toolkit. TDA is a 2013 Toyota Hilux. It has front and rear aftermarket bumpers. It also has a 3 inch suspension lift, a front permanent winch, and it has an interchangeable rear winch. These vehicles aren't brand new. So, certain things that go wrong, you will know over time. So, first things first, we will check for oil levels, coolant brake fluid and whatnot. The preparation of the trip would be to go through all the fluids, double check for spare parts, so have a compressor, have a tire gauge and have a plug kit. Extra engine oil, brake fluid, 10 spanner, 12 spanners, a vice grip of pliers, two to three shackles, at least one snatch block and a tree hugger or tree saver. Those are the things that will make a difference in you reaching further or coming home broken. That location was chosen because I've been there a few years ago and it was ideal as in it was far away from human beings. The trail or track I should say is um, it was a clear one and I know we could, it will take us far into the forest. So we need to be very careful as we traverse. It's one way in, one way out. So there shouldn't be a, any situation where anyone getting lost but we normally stay close to each other.
Yes, we did encounter some large potholes, some landslips on the side of the road, and also um, a couple of trees that were down. Now, it was part of the rainy season, so there was a lot of puddles, large puddles, right? And some took the effort of engaging the fowl to get inside here, which was ideal. To, it would have told me that the area is less traversed, so the, both the animal and even human beings would have had less conflicts inside here, so it would have been ideal. Me being any lead vehicle in TBS, we were coming up to everything first. So when we reach our uh, obstacle, we will proceed cautiously. Once we overcome our obstacle, then we bring in another vehicle up, which will be TDA. TDA will be falling close behind. We always try and keep a practice to keep a little distance between each other. In the event of situation, you don't want two vehicles getting stuck at the same time, or you don't want to slide into the other vehicle. So as we continued, the track got muddier, got tighter, we had down trees, the team worked excellent, everyone came out, cleared branches. Us doing this, we're not trying to damage the trail, we're not trying to go where no man has gone, we're just trying to do it safely and efficiently. Us carrying a vehicle makes the job easier in carrying the animals and carrying first aid and carrying our essential. It's not how to damage the trail. We would not cut down a tree if it doesn't need to be cut. We would try and move it outside and proceed. We just approached this obstacle and we got, got a, bit, a bit confident, a bit cocky. We decided to proceed without letting someone walk the track. As I drove into this obstacle, the front of the vehicle just went boosh. Yeah.